accounts receivable, you'll remember, is an accrual component. So if I look at the flowchart, that's when we enter the invoice. So that's on the customer side of things. If you're in a very simplified business, like you just get paid from YouTube or something, then you won't have receivables. You'll just record a deposit. Or if you have cash register sales, no invoices. So this is an accrual component. So by definition, if you have to track accounts receivable, you've moved away from a cash based system and now you're on uh, an accrual based system because of the, the need for you to track uh, the accounts receivable. So there could be timing issues with the accounts receivable. Now, one of those issues could be, for example, that you entered the invoice. Uh, when you enter the invoice, you, you actually did the work before the cutoff. In our case, you did the work in February, but maybe you entered the invoice in March, for example. So it's not a perfect system. The fact that you, the invoice is recording the sale uh, in terms of the timing frame, because it's possible due to the billing structure that you actually enter the invoice after you did the work in the period after you did the work, in which case you could result in an adjusting uh, entry. That might not be as common for small businesses, but you know that, that's one of the issues that could happen. The other issue is that uh, issue with the deposits that we talked about, which we'll get into in more detail with the unearned revenue kind of issue where we said it's possible to receive a payment before you do the work, like you get a down payment or you get a, a prepayment from the customer before you do the work. That should be recorded as a liability, but logistically within QuickBooks, it makes sense to make a negative receivable. So if I looked at the sub ledger, we'd have some negative receivables and we should break that out for financial reporting to a liability. So from my perspective, this is not a classic adjusting entry in that it doesn't have a balance sheet and income or timing difference account, but it works like an adjusting entry in that from the bookkeeping standpoint, it makes sense to have a negative receivable because that ties out really well in the sub ledgers because the sub ledgers are tied to accounts receivable as opposed to unearned revenue. But periodically, then I can just go in there and make an adjusting entry if I need to. So we'll, that's a little bit of a confusing one. We'll talk about that more later. 